going to use another mode. So this time we are going to untick the automatic background and see whether we can uh, increase the speed or not. So now we have done that. Just check the Kikuchi pattern solution. So everything looks good. So now you can see it's quite fast. So it's 3300. It's nice done. And now we're going to export the data. The other thing I want to check is whether we can scan the eBSD when we enable the proximity alert on. So we scan the image again. The same region of interest. Just to double check whether there are any difference between different modes, different parameters. So now I think the solution looks quite good. And then we keep the enable proximate on alert. Just check the solution is still good. Yes, MAD is not too bad. And scan the same region again. Now starts. So we can still see that the acquisition speed is over 300. 3300 points per second. It's done. Now we export to channel 5 data again. Uh, I just want to double check the acquisition speed between map 2 and map 3. So check the details. That's map 3. And that's map 2. And we can see the hit race is quite close. And the acquisition speed in map 2 is a bit faster. So, but all of them, the acquisition speed are over 3000 points. That's very good, very fast. Now we are going to do the EBSD and EDS at the same time. First of all, we need to scan the region, the same region we have done before. Right now we need to do the optimize pattern. So we, this time we choose the speed two, and just choose the exposure time 0.3, and check the Kikuchi pattern, uh, which is not too bad. So we can check the optimize solver. So the MAD is not too bad, 0.59. And now we're going to insert the EDX detector. Let's click in. So now we need to check whether we got enough signal. Now it tells you it failed to update the peak naval spectrum. Maybe it's be because the signal is too strong. So we need to reduce the signal. So how are we going to do this? I'm not sure. Uh, so we need to check the spectrum on EDS detector. Now you can see the dead time is 78%, which is very high, so we need to decrease down to less than 50%. So we can choose, click the settings, and uh, decrease processing time to three, which is still a bit high. So let's go back to two, press time two, so which is good. So the other way to do this is we can retract the EDS detector a bit. Right, so now we include EDS, use the default settings, and then double check the Kikuchi solutions. 
Now we can see the UBSD spectrum. Okay. So now we can acquire the map and the EDS. So just for the demonstration, so we only use a small area. I include EDS. Then you can hit the button start. So now you can see you got the EBSD and EDS images at the same time. And you can choose different view mode. So we have three modes. You know, normally we choose the middle one so you can see the EBSD and the EDS not images at the same time. You can also double check the night spectrums. Right, so now I want to check the acquisition speed. So it's still 2600, which is a bit smaller than 3300, but just thinking we are having the EDX and EBS3 data at the same time. So 2600 is, I think, is pretty fast for me. So you can export the data. And you can also export the data as a report. Just need to know where is it. Uh, yeah, the most important thing you, you save your project. Yeah, there we go, this report. So you can save as a report, which will exports all the EBSD and the EDS images to the Word file. Okay, we haven't installed this software, but I'm going to install the software in the coming days. Right, now we're going to do the High resolution EBS analysis. So, how can we collect the high quality EBS Kikuchi patterns? Definitely, we are going to choose the resolution mode and then we can use the restore default to determine the exposure time. So, now it's 3.3, but um, we need to check the static background. So, now it's not working. Uh, collect the static background, normally 400 multiple. And then we need to, we can see the Kikuchi pattern is not very good quantity. So we increase the exposure to time to 1000. So now it gives you nice Kikuchi patterns. So we can display the detecting area and the uh, pattern center. Right, we just check the raw EBSP and static background. So now we are going to do the optimized solver. So now you can see the image is quite good. The MAD is only 0.3. And now we are going to collect some high resolution Kikuchi patterns. So because it's only for the demonstration, so we only look at the small area. I'll choose the step size 0.2 microns. I'm trying to reduce the area to decrease the time. Right, so now we're going to do the settings, store patterns, tick, and then we are going to choose the uh, data saving folder. Right, start. 
because we don't have that portable disk attached to the PC. So we're going to choose another path to save the pattern. So this PC add new folder, HR test. Okay, start. So now it requires seven TB space. Oh, that's crazy. There must be something wrong. Okay, so we just need to redefine the scanning area and then start this again. So now it's 24.6 gigabytes, right? So we just check the details. So it's 10 points per second. It's going to be 15 minutes. Right, now we are going to check the saved Kikuchi patterns, the raw Kikuchi patterns. So that's all here. So it's been to be 15 minutes, nearly 60 minutes. You check the speed of acquisition has been decreased because the saving speed, the image saving has decreased the time and some other factors as well.